Our mission is to be your liaison between corporate America and the minority community, which will allow corporations to increase brand identity, awareness, and consumer consumption, and in return empower community organizations to accomplish their goals and objectives. Mixing music with movies, rock with rap, and musicians with athletes is taking Louisville native Alan Powell to the top in Hollywood. I pick my own movies, and sometimes I pick the scripts for the films, and sometimes if there's a film that's already been, has been started but has financial problems, I come in and finish the financing, and it becomes my film, and I just give the person a back end on the film, and then I end up attaching a soundtrack to it if it has enough tangible people into it. I grew up poor, so when I got ahead, I just started keeping it. Oh, good. Yeah. So you started saving your money. Yeah. A lot of guys count the money before they get it. And they, you know what I'm saying, they already thinking they're going to get a certain amount of money, so they go out and get in debt. So then when it comes time to pay the piper, you know, they don't have no money left. T-Town Music and recording artist DSR or Dirty South Riders are about to blow up the music industry after signing the biggest deal to ever come out of Texas with Universal Records. This deal will help launch the Dallas music scene to the lights of the West Coast, East Coast, Midwest, and Dirty South. In 2005, the T-Town music executives met Alan Powell, the former vice president of development for the firm, one of the largest management firms in the country. Powell played an instrumental role in advancing the careers of Korn, Limp Bizkit, and even helped to negotiate an endorsement deal for Jamie Foxx. After visiting Dallas and doing some research, AP noticed that T-Town had sold over 375,000 units within a four-year span. Impressed by T-Town's nationwide success, Powell sought to form a partnership with the label. We had a few labels trying to holler at us, I'm not going to say no names, but we did. And we basically, you know, we brought AP and we put the deal, AP put the deal together, put it on the table, and they gave us what we wanted. Universal Music Group uh, was the one that did, us, that did our deal. They gave us a multi-million dollar deal, which, you know, I don't want to say the exact number, but it was, uh, it was a multi-million dollar deal that was over, like, a, about four projects. The first two acts being Tum Tum yes, already, already, do the food, do the and food. Big Tuck. And also with DSR. And then we know we've got another we've got another another artist that we're trying to break, which is Fat Bastard, who's like the biggest guy besides Tucker Tum on the streets of Dallas. Within weeks of forming the new partnership, T Town CEOs found themselves flying to New York and meeting with Universal. By the time they completed negotiations, the three had inked a seven point five million dollar deal with Universal Records, one of the biggest deals for an independent label in Texas. Such a deal is so unique for rap labels in Texas that publications like Ozone, The Source, and others have featured T Town.